I, I was trying to tie in how to safety tips and making scones tie in together, but they don't. So we're just going to say it's all good fun here in West Vancouver at the Savory Island Pie Company. We're coming up next. We are going to make some of their ever popular scones up next on BT. Stay with us. I love me a good scone. Oh, yes, I do. And especially uh, the scones they have here at the Savory Island Pie Company where I was. How long have you guys been here? Oh, I think 20 years. 20 years yeah. in this location. I think you were in a different, uh, That's just right. across the street as yeah. well. People know you for your scones. What's the key to a good scone here? Oh, the nice and light, fluffy, pearling the butter right. Pearling the butter. So yeah. what does that mean? Well, you just want to get it to a small size, like a pea. You don't want to over mix the dry mix either. All right, and you hand mix everything here, everything right? Everything's hand mixed, that's right. Wonderful. Yeah. At what point do you need to put the wet ingredients in? Well, right now I'm going to add the uh, apricots here, slivered apricots. Or Little sorry, almonds. almonds, excuse me. And then we've got our apricots our there. Our apricots here. So we're obviously making an almond apricot scone. And by the way, you have several uh, varieties of scones here. We what do you do. say is the most popular? Uh, probably our raspberry and blueberry. Mm, yeah. What's your favorite? The raspberry's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah. Are, yeah. You like the favorite, all right. Yeah. So now you're mixing it to a point where it's, I guess, pretty uniform. Yeah, we want it all covered in, in flour. Would you say that um, overmixing, like, you know, we always talk about baking and thinking overmixing is bad. Is that the case with over the scone as well? Overmixing is bad. Okay. That's right. Yeah. All right. Keep the air in there. And, and what kind of wet ingredients do you have? Uh, so we've mixed up whipping cream, mm -hmm. eggs, and another little secret ingredient, some orange juice. Oh, I love that. I'm just going to incorporate all okay. this here. I'll let you continue on with that as well. And you say whipping cream. I know some people, they try to go light and they, you know, make theirs with milk. It won't be a good scone. It's not a good scone. It's not yeah. a good scone, but they know what good scones are here at the Savory Island Pie Company. That's right. They are open right now, Jody and Riaz. I'm sure you could probably send someone down to pick up a few scones or two. And in the 7 o'clock hour, they make pies. We're part of their regular production schedule this morning, and we are going to make pies coming up next in West Vancouver. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. Hanging out here in West Vancouver, where it's a bustle in here at the Savory Island Pie Company. And you know, they got to be famous for their pies. We're making pies coming up next. Stay with us. Lots of people have already made their way here in West Vancouver, where they open up at 6 o'clock. Uh, Iris, do people actually order pie at this time of day? Oh, yeah. Sometimes people have pie for breakfast. Pie for breakfast. Why not? Why not? What kind of pie are we making here? Uh, Katarina's got uh, blueberries mixing in there. Sonia here is gonna. She's just getting ready to finish topping up a pie. Excellent. And yeah. uh, tell us, let me go ahead and keep making those. We don't want to interrupt. You're, you're very busy right now. Um, what kind of blueberry? Like, do you use local where you can? And, local organic yeah. berries. Matt Squee Farms. Excellent. And and yeah. how many different kinds of pies do you have here? Oh, we've got seven different pies. Um, strawberry rhubarb, raspberry rhubarb, the blueberry, raspberry blueberry. What do you say your most apple. popular is? Uh, close to uh, strawberry rhubarb and the apple pie. It would be a tie. Then we have a beautiful signature pie, our, our lemon buttermilk. Ooh, and I know you yes. have the meat pies as well. Yeah. Uh, you make those on a special day, though. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. People can pick them up, though. Yeah, frozen. fresh frozen. Exactly. Yeah, awesome. two different sizes. We've got a large meat pie in this size and then one a bit smaller. Oh, and I love how fast she's making that. Now, the key is what? The crimping? Is that how? What for the, for the uh, crust there? Oh, yeah. S seal it in. Now we're just going to make a vent. Oh, how? And that's how we checked for doneness in the center. Wonderful. Of course, a little bit of butter on top. Oh, a little bit of butter. Like how that many butter. pies do you think you'll make in a day? Uh, it will vary day to day. Uh, we, can, we can make up to probably about 80 plus our meat pies. <laughs> During the week, you know, 30 to 40 pies. I love yeah. it. And of course, it's a real family affair. It's Isn't busy it? here as yeah. well. It's a huge production line. Coming up next, what makes their breakfast so special? We're talking omelets, the key to a great omelet. Coming up next on BT. Stay with us. Get up, everybody. Scones and their pies here at the Savory Island Pie Company, but you make a fantastic breakfast as well, oh, we right? We do, we do. And so we're making what here? We're gonna we're making a veggie omelet. Mamie's got a veggie omelet going here. We do them in a French style omelet. So what is that? It's just like a, a thinner omelet, or it's a it's a two egg omelet. Okay. Uh, get our we start on a high heat. We melt our butter in there. Get it nice and bubbling. Drop the egg mixture in. Let it get a bit cooked on the outside of the egg against the pan, and we drop the heat low. So that's a key to making your omelet oh, yeah, very nice. special here is, as well, right? Is, yeah. So what kind of omelet are we making? We're going to make a veggie omelet. We've already got our cheese and that on here. Mamie's just going to finish assembling that with some of the tomato. 
Excellent. Yeah. And you have lots of different kinds of omelets. What other kinds of breakfast items do you have here? Uh, we do. We've got a, a variety of omelets. We also have a great breakfast sandwich. Um, our, we've got a black bean omelet. It's fantastic. Mm. Our, everything's done in-house here. Uh, mango corn salsa omelets, very, very good. And you try to use local organic. We do. That's what you do we here, do. right? Yeah, yeah. free-range organic eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is looking spec. Yeah, nice little bit of lemon juice on there. I never would have thought to put lemon juice on there. Yeah. Oh, and what's what's Eileen saying there? Ah, uh, we also do <laughs> a, a fantastic mushroom omelet. Quite often, customers, this isn't what our standard veggie omelet is, but quite often, uh, customers are wanting to throw some mushrooms on there too. Perfect. All our omelets come with a choice of our our, our toast. Uh, well, any let's of our talk breads. About your bread too. Yeah. Let's talk about your bread here. Yeah. So this is our multi-grain bread here. Dawn didn't want it toasted, so we just had bread there prepared for her this morning. Perfect. Yeah, we've got a great raisin rye. It's fantastic. Awesome. Now, are we ready to start plating that? Is it pretty close? Almost, Almost yeah. ready. Done. Well, tell you what, I'm going to be taking a picture of that, and yes, I will be tasting that beautiful omelet. And the soup of the day, by the way, what's the soup of the day today? Oh, we've today? got two. We've okay. got a split pea and ham. Fantastic. And a curried pumpkin. Excellent. Delish. Lots of great yeah. food here in West Vancouver. Savory Island Pie Company. You can, of course, make your way here to West Vancouver anytime, whether it's a little baked good there back at the station or, of course, a gorgeous omelet. Yeah. Kitchen yum, yum. opens at 7. Kitchen open at 7. Is any business that can survive 20 years in one location, 30 years total, Eileen, what is the key to, I guess, having a business that can sustain that long? What's important to you for your customers to know? Well, the first thing is um, um, I started this out of necessity. And the second thing is I've never compromised ever any of my beliefs or my recipes or uh, in any way I have not never compromised. So it's Always about quality for quality. You. Quality. Absolute quality. Quality yeah. and a real down home feeling here. It feels like a real big family. And speaking yeah. of which, who's this here? This is my granddaughter, <laughs> Chloe. Oh, and Chloe, I don't know, you probably have to go to school a little bit later, but why why do you want to get up so early? Why are you up so early by the way? Well, my grandma's a baker, and I uh, I wake up this early every day, so I guess it's just in the genes. It's just in the genes. Big smile to the camera out there, because I know a lot of people out here in West Vancouver certainly are fans of the Savory Island Pie Company, but a lot of people in the Lower Mainland. And by the way, you can also pick up their pies, I believe, at Nestor's Market as well. For more details anyways, you can, of course, make your way here to the Savory Island Pie Company, where they are open. The kitchen's open uh, for breakfast at 7, but of course, they open the doors at 6 o'clock. Come grab some baked goods and some coffee anytime, guys. And I got to say, that was probably the best omelet I have ever had here at the uh, Savory Island Pie Company. But we're going to talk about some of the other delicious goods they have available here. Coming up next on BT, stay with us. We'll be right back live from West Vancouver. Hold on, listen, there are lots of things to have here, but the most delicious, I got to say, oh my gosh, could this be your youngest customer ever? It's got to be. <laughs> What's his name? Jackson. Ja this is Jackson, by the way. I'm just going to keep Jackson here the whole time. Or he's like, what am I going to have? I better give him back to mom. We'll give him back to mom, but certainly there are lots of things that you'll never want to give back. You're just going to want to take more and more and more. And uh, Iris, do people just get here and go, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start? Yeah, some people can be very overwhelmed. Yeah, so yeah. let's talk about some of the key things you have. First of all, what's that? This is our awesome cinnamon bun. Very, it's a bun, not a cinnamon roll. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that there was a difference. There is a difference. Really? What's the difference? This is a bun. It's a bun. It's cinnamon <laughs> rolls, many times you'll see, they're many. They're rolled okay. like a jelly roll. I see what you're yeah. saying. Okay, yeah. awesome. What so, do we have here? These are our buttermilk tea cakes. Raspberry and blueberry, those are fantastic. Delicious, nice delicious. And, light. and of course, the carrot cake. Hello. You're a very famous trick. What do you yeah. think the key to a good carrot cake is? Moisture. A lot of moisture. And a fantastic cream cheese icing. See, and I love that you don't skimp on the calories here. Why would you no. do that? Why would you do that to yourself? Yeah, if you're right? gonna come in, you're gonna do it right. And then finally, awesome our pie. Our signature pie, this is our lemon buttermilk pie. It's a plain one, and we have the one here with the berries. Wonderful, we should point out that if people can't make their way here to West Vancouver, you do have some flavors of pies available at Nestor's Market. Yes, and Stong. Nestor's Whistler and Stong's in Vancouver. And Stong's in Vancouver, but you know why wouldn't you wanna make your way here to West Vancouver? It is worth it for sure. Uh, for more details on the Savory Island Pie Company, you're just gonna have to come out here and try for yourself. You know what, Nelson, I didn't share any of my breakfast with you. So Nelson, do you want to have a bite of this? They're back at the station. I know you had some scones, but this is their primo dessert here. Good, Nelson? Yeah? Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well done.